Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new gameplay mode Imaginarium Theater which was released a little bit earlier this patch. And it is a permanent feature which will be updated kind of in tandem with Abyss, so your expectation might be that it is roughly on the same difficulty tier as Abyss. But to be blunt about it, it is a little bit of a joke, so if you're specifically seeking difficulty, then I'm sorry, but this will almost certainly disappoint you. So if you haven't played this game in a while and you're wondering if this is worth coming back to, then again, if you're seeking difficulty, then this will almost certainly disappoint you. But on the other hand, if you're shying away from Abyss because your account is not up to it, then Imaginum Theater will be great for you because it is basically possible to beat with any account because you can play a lot of trial characters and you can even invite one character from your friends list. So again, very accessible. I would argue that you can basically beat it with any account that is a little bit older than like a month or two. And now let's finally talk about how this actually works and on the top right you see the seasonal rules with the available trial characters and in each season only a select few elements are available. In season 1 only Pyro, Electro and Anemo characters are playable with the exception of special guest stars. These are the only characters outside of the seasonal elements that are usable in Imaginarium Theater, so they are especially important, but for whatever reason the game doesn't feel the need to tell you which characters we are talking about on this screen. So let's get to uh, the performance preparation and select any difficulty just to check the um, character selection and you see the special guest stars right here. In season 1 it is Baiju, Siege Bean, I hate them and Risley, and these are especially important when selecting your supporting cast. These are the characters that are available for your friends to choose from, and of course highest priority are the um, special guest characters, but aside from this just pick any characters of the seasonal elements, ideally that aren't already available from the trial, so you give your friends the most and the best options at the same time. And we have already seen where to start the game mode, just go to performance prep and it is divided into three difficulty tiers, easy and normal just has a character requirement of level 60 and hard mode of level 70, aside from that it's just an increasing number of combat stages. In this screen you just select whether you want to play the trial characters, you can even see the artifacts and weapons here, or your own characters and you can even configure your builds down here. And then on the next screen this is the actual character selection. On this button you can invite your uh, guest characters or your friends characters sorry and the special guest characters I would almost certainly want to pick them because again they are the only characters of these elements so they open up new team compositions or archetypes or whatever you want to call it and then just select a healthy number of on field versus off field characters and you are perfectly fine. I would just roughly like ballpark it on like a 1 to 2 ratio in favor of off field characters and you're probably okay just pick some utility characters let's see what we have here Bennett, this one and something like this for example and you're perfectly fine and in the beginning of each combat stage we get to see this screen which is a little bit of a roguelike feature just in case you are familiar with that gaming genre. Down here we see where we're at so right now stage 1 or act 1 as they call it out of 8 and if you click on performance details the second tab you see your available starting characters and as you see they also have some sort of energy system. So each character can only be used twice until they become unavailable for combat. Again, there are 8 stages, you are forced to pick 4 characters on each of them, which means in total you need 32 energy to beat the entire game mode. You have 6 characters in total at the beginning, which means 12 energy, so 20 more to go. Luckily, after each stage, um, up to stage 7, you get to select one free character, which is 14 free energy, so you're only left with 6 energy to go, which means you need to select 3 extra companions to make it through the entire game mode. Um, speaking of which, you get to earn this currency up here on the top for successfully finishing a battle and you can spend it on either companions or just uh, some buffs like similar to Abyss after each new chamber. I personally just like to get the companions out of the way so I just start by picking one random here because we start with 100 currency. So I pick Lenny here because I have like, actually I have already three main DPS so I pick Dia. 
and then you get new choices but unfortunately we are out of currency to gain new one you just select combat and beat it and you get the currency that is depicted down here unfortunately i didn't get an elite battle they just yield more so i just reroll once here and i didn't get it so i reroll again and there we go elite and now I just start and it's just uh, like any regular combat event so I probably won't talk too much about this. In, as you see right here, there are also bonus challenges, so you need to trigger a bunch of swell in this case to gain extra currency, definitely worth it, so you pick your Nemo characters and your Pyro characters since Toma has synergy with, um, what's his name, uh, Scaramouche. Now I just skip and start right here. Just finish this quickly and I probably won't go through the entire run because this video will probably just be a little bit too long if I do that. I already finished my swelling. Break these um, cryo shields. about done. Yeah, as you see, it's really not that big of a challenge, even the boss fights. Alright, I just skipped ahead to the last boss. So I just showed off this fight really quickly and... Um... I guess something like this. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> Just put a shield up uh, right the second. I was setting up my guard skill. Yeah, pretty easy. I didn't even really pay attention to be honest, so... <laughs> I think I could have even died there at one point, at least my um, Sara, or... I think it was Sara who was really no. <laughs> right, and now you return to lobby and you can pick up your rewards at this chest and that's basically it. Get your, uh, I think, regular rewards here, and then your first clear rewards right here, and it's definitely a chunk of <laughs> primer gems, so definitely worth doing. Alright, I hope this was somewhat helpful, and stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun, and bye-bye.